time, so. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, well, congrats on the Coach of the Year award. Um, I mean, you know, if, there, if there ever was a, a lock, it was you to win that award. What does it mean to you to, to win it this year? Well, I think it really is a reflection of the team. Um, usually the, the coach that's got the best team is the one that wins the award, so it really is a testament to how hard they fought to be in this position to win a championship. And um, I would like to acknowledge my, my staff, though. They're just incredible uh, coaches, and I just am thrilled that I get to come to work uh, every day to rub shoulders with all these great women. You guys won the conference. I mean, it, this may sound crazy, but is there any bit of a letdown, you know, having to share it with Santa Barbara and, you know, having the opportunity to win it there on Saturday and, and, and outright and, and not doing that? And, and how does that affect the, the team going into the tournament? Well, I think that Santa Barbara played a great game, and I certainly would congratulate them. They were awesome. Um, we didn't feel like we played our best. We certainly felt like our opponent uh, was a big reason that we didn't play our best. They played great defense. But at the same time, we were a little bit disappointed that we didn't uh, have our best game, and especially in front of a, an incredible crowd, and really wanted to thank the community for coming out and supporting us. Um, at the same time, we learned some things about our opponent, about ourselves, and hopefully we'll take those lessons and move on tomorrow night and, and put it all together and see if we can't come up with a win against a very talented Fullerton team. Right. I mean, it didn't really cost you the number one seed the, or anything like that. So now every, everyone's, even Steven, I guess, here going into the tournament. Uh, your, your thoughts about the tournament, um, Fullerton, and, and what you hope to accomplish here in the next, what, five, six days? Well, because I'm good friends with Coach Foster, I definitely wanted them to make the tournament, so I was uh, hoping that they would. I am not very happy that we're playing them because uh, she's such a great coach and their team is uh, super, super dangerous and very good. Um, but at the same time, we are very fortunate that we were able to get a home seed. Uh, we're hoping that the whole community will come out again. It was just so awesome. Can you imagine? I mean, I know you've probably been a part of sports teams all the time, but for these women to have that kind of experience with almost a sellout crowd at, at Mott Gym, um, we come a long way, baby. But it was thrilling for them. And we're hoping a similar turnout comes out Yeah, tomorrow. please, yeah, come <laughs> out. Come out to the game. It's so much fun. Yeah, I mean, how nice is it? I mean, the change in format this year. Uh, I mean, do you personally like it with the, with the host sites? I mean, it, it gives you a, a distinct advantage. I know everyone likes to play in the, the big arenas and all that, but, I mean, this is a real benefit, I guess, for you guys uh, to get a, a first-round win on your home floor. Well, I like the format. Uh, even if I was a seed that wasn't benefiting uh, from it, I would still like the format. I felt like in the past the, the buys, the two buys for the one and two seed, even though I've been a part of um, – the beneficial side of it, but more often the other side of it. It's uh, very, very difficult, I think, to play that kind of a uh, game where everybody else is kind of building and, and they've got games under their belt and then all of a sudden you're supposed to be the top seeds and um, you're not quite into the tournament flow yet. So I like this format better. I think it is a good benefit to all the teams to be able to play this style. They all have the same number of games to get to a championship. The 1-8 Again, in our league, both for men and women, there's so much parity across the board. Everybody's got, uh, I wouldn't say an equal chance, but more of an equal chance than how it was set up in the past. So I'm a, a huge a fan of this current format. Um, hopefully I'll still be tomorrow night. <laughs> you know, having been close two years ago and then having the disappointment the last year, I mean, how hungry are you personally and, and maybe the, some of the older players like Rachel, I mean, to, to get those three wins and, and go dancing here next week? Well, you always want it for your players. Um, I'd be uh, so disappointed for, for all the people that have helped this program get to the place where it's at now. Um, but I am very proud of all the people who have helped us get to this place. But our goal is to make the NCAA tournament. That's been our mindset from day one. And while we continue to have and experience um, roadblocks as we were getting there throughout the entire season, the team's determination and their focus has been undaunting. They just are so persistent in what they want to accomplish. When we play well together as a team, we're a very, very tough team. And uh, I felt like we lost a little bit of that on Saturday. But I know that the team is going to be really focused to have a great team performance again and get this thing done tomorrow night. Coach, congrats on the award. Thank you. Um, let's just start with kind of, well, definitely in the Long Beach game a little bit with Makia. I mean, kind of some problems 
giving up a lot of offensive rebounds. I mean, is that something you guys are focusing on, or do you think it was just I, Makia, you know, just in herself, or is it something that you guys are focusing on this week to, to kind of work on? Well, I'm sure, you know, Lindsay gets to watch her practice every day and, and play a ton of games. That was the best I've ever seen Makia play, and uh, certainly um, she just played a heck of a game. It was a committee job to try to handle her, and our committee, um, you know, they're, they're boasting before the game, oh, we hope we're going to keep her to two rebounds. And uh, somehow we forgot the zero at the end or something. I don't know when she had 20 on us. But she, she's a great player. She definitely was uh, the reason that they won the game. And uh, if we're fortunate enough to see them again down the road, um, I, I have a strong feeling that we'll play a lot better than we did in Saturday's game. Cool. And just kind of talk about Fullerton, I mean, a little more. You guys have beat them twice. One was close down there, one kind of got away at the end. Uh, you won by 20 here. Um, just kind of talk about kind of what you guys are focusing in on or just focusing on being the Mustangs itself. Yeah, well, being us means everybody doing their job. Doing the job means Kayla Griffin is uh, doing her thing, a triple-double kind of lady. Uh, Rachel Clancy shooting the three. Jonah Irvin's driving the ball in addition to people that Desiree is leading and orchestrating, that Abby Bletcher is a double-double lady for sure, that Molly Schlemer comes off the bench and puts her, it's everybody. It's Tamara Wells getting on the floor for loose balls and getting offensive rebounds. It's, it's all those things combined. Uh, when I look at the two different games for us, the real secret for our success was how we handled their big three. And uh, we end up putting Richardson on, or sorry, uh, Richardson was guarded by Reeves, and then we ended up putting um, Grove had uh, assignment with Kayla Griffin. And so we tried to do our best with some bodies that were a little bit longer than the first time that we faced Megan Richardson. I think she went to 34 uh, on us at their place, and that was with some of our smaller guards defending her. Um, and then when we made the switch to a little bit more size, she had a little bit more trouble. She's a great player. I'm sure she's still going to find her way to score. But it really was a great team effort to try to control those two players. And of course, Lauren Chow was the other part of their big three. And uh, she had the most outstanding game last game uh, that we had our matchup. But we, we did an incredible job in trying to control Grove and Richardson in that game. And I thought that was the key to our victory on our home court two weeks ago.